Libra, Libra, how you doing? Welcome to your Astro Flower reading for 2024. Um, yes, what an amazing year this is going to be by the looks of things. As a, as, a, as a sort of shift within our understanding about how the world works. And it it puts bare, you know, um, uh, life itself. And we realise, I think, within our spiritual path, certainly, but also within our material path, that there's been a, you know, we've had the wall pulled over our eyes and uh, people are going to start waking up and start taking back uh, our strengths, which is our desires for deciding our proper future. And that's through our spirit and through our material world. And in the material world, there seems to be a change in either in the way in which we do finances, and this could be moving on to more electrical finances, sort of like uh, cryptocurrencies and stuff like that. Or um, as a sort of understanding of um, how the game's been rigged, really, and uh, a changing in which we do things. And that's in the um, collective reading. If you want to see the collective reading, it will be linked at the end of this uh, end of this reading. Uh, but you'll find it as well on our channel. Let's just see what's going on for you. This is the overall energy here. This is the karmic path for your spiritual path, your energy or your relationships. This is the karmic path for your material path, your jobs, your business and your projects. This is uh, the first three months, second three months, third three months and the last three months of the year. Um, I have still got a cold. I've got a runny nose more than anything else. I don't feel bad. I just feel like I've got a runny nose. So let's just get on and see uh, what's going on with you for this year. You got the three of cups. Yeah, I think social socialising is on your uh, remit for this year. Uh, getting out there, getting stuck in, meeting people, enjoying yourself, enjoying the exchange, feeling that life is just a permanent celebration. Uh, and I think energy is encouraging you to do this. I think... They're going to help you to meet people, um, and this could be within your financial side as much within your uh, spiritual side as well. Uh, it could be meeting of a new love. It could be a meeting of new friends or old friends. It just seems to be reunion and sort of um, very good sort of social aspects that are going on in your life. On your karmic path, you have the devil on your uh, spiritual path here. The devil is in the detail, and I think you're going to look at the detail here, and you're going to be able to look at it very quickly, I think, and define um, uh, pathways that are being presented to you that are um, that are lost, lost leaders in a way. You know, they're 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 not really going anywhere. They're dead end roads. And you're going to see this very very quickly uh, within your connections with other people that are around you, because you're going to see the detail very quickly. I think. And feel it very quickly. You're going to feel like um, you're going to know when you're being um, duped, as it were, trying to be duped spiritually. And I think this ties into that whole aspect of this new pathway that you could be living uh, going forward. Yes, you do have an offering of love. It seems like love is coming in in the first three months of this year between January and March. There is this Knight of Cups here who brings in this beautiful energy. And I think this is, helps you when you see things in finer detail. The devil is in the detail, as it were. Um, and almost being obsessive about being sociable. That's where the other thing comes into play with the devil card on there. I think this is um, you being very social about how you're going forward. And when this sociable aspect of it being open to be uh to meeting people this is where an offering of love will come into your life i think it's coming in rather than you offering it out more than anything else uh and it seems like there's like a knight in shining armor that whisks you off uh in a very beautiful way uh into exploring new avenues of life in the second three months, now this is going from April through to July, uh, you get the Nine of Swords here. I think there's a moment, like in any sort of relationship, any sort of um, meeting uh, or coming together sociably with friends and uh, people like that, uh, friends, family or community, uh, but I think it's much more on the sort of love side. There is this sort of, uh, you know, the honeymoon period is this, the first three months here. And then in the second three months, going from April through to July, I think you're starting to uh, see 
the the you know uh seeing the thing for what it really is um in your relationship and not seeing for what it really is it's um you know it, you're starting to worry i think you know, this is it you're more like you're starting to worry about your future and you don't want to repeat the same things. And I think it causes you a little bit of worry because I think you enjoy this relationship, this engagement with this person. And I don't think, I just think you're trying not to get it wrong. And I wouldn't try too hard because if you concentrate on the things that could possibly go wrong, there's a better chance that they could go wrong. So I would just um, use the past, use your past experiences in regards to relationships and just sort of saying, saying to yourself, sort of saying, I've already done that. I don't need to do that again. I don't need to go through that again. And I think this is where uh, a little bit of worry uh, within you can spin out of control. And this is a good learning curve for you here. And I think this is where the devil's in the detail and recognizing that longer term plan for you. And once you do, you can convert that nine of swords into that nine of cups and i think you're going to do this with ease i think it's you're getting over a massive uh it's bigger than just a bump in the road uh with this uh nine of swords to this nine of cups i think you're getting over a much bigger bump in the road i think you're getting something out of you that no longer needs to exist that causes you pain then it's almost like self-sabotage that's coming to an end here and you're realising that there's actually so many beautiful gifts to be had within this world uh, around you. And all of a sudden you're recognising that because you've stopped kind of worrying about whether this new love is really going to last. Uh, this offering of new love and this social socialising aspect is going to really last. And I think it will do in a really beautiful way. And once you realise you've got all these gifts, this is when you're going to have to learn about creating the longer term plan and that longer term plan comes out of understanding of um, converting your spirit into the material world as you do do this this is when you realize you've actually got seeds that you can plant for a much more sort of secure and consistent future and it does bring in a, a lot of um, not a lot of luck as such but it just because you go ahead and start uh, investing in this relationship um once you start investing in it then i think you're going to start realizing that you're cultivating it um and it's that understanding that you're going to be going through after your birthday season because that is in your birthday season this is where this goes up to uh june uh, and then we're going from July through to September. This is this is bringing it up to your birthday season, and um, and this is uh, uh, August through to July, which is um, in this section here. August through to September. Sorry, I do apologise. August through to September, which is this period here, is where you're starting to realise all the great possibilities in your life, and that's when you can convert all of those stuff in, and that's going to give you those seeds for planting for the new year as you go through your birthday season and go from between September through to December, um, you know, October, November, December, this is when you're going to really start planting some really beautiful things that will last uh, a long time, I think, uh, for you. Um, on your material side, on your karmic path, you get the five of cups. Hmm... I think the disappointments of the past are in the past. And I think once you realise this disappointment in the past and you follow these two cups here, I think you've got to start realising that sometimes you do a lot of things for other people. Uh, you try and do things and you try and do it perfectly, um, but it's not for you. And because it's not for you, you almost feel like you're always on the losing end of it. Um, and this is coming to an end and this is a realisation that you're making this year. In the first three months, you've got this, you've got a journey to go on uh, in your material side of life, in your job, your business or your project. You've got a journey to go on. You've already planned it. It's already within you. And now it's a case of execution. And that's what you've got to do. And I think this here, your worry about um, disappointment um, and this is what your karmic learning is this year, is getting over that, is the thing that's holding you back. Once you can get past that, 
you can just go straight off and down that road without any worries and without any woes. Because, yes, it's going to bring you to... This is when we're going from August through to... Um, August. Uh, from April through to June. So this is coming up to your summer period. This is where you're going to get a lot of results. If you just get on and do, basically, uh, Libra, don't hold back. There's nothing to be lost here, only to be gained uh, once you start activating it. And once you do start activating it within your summer period, you're going to feel like you're well, you're going to get the results, basically. But you're also not just going to get the results financially. You're also going to feel like that life is sort of like is backing you up. It's encouraging you. It's fueling your desires. It's fueling your future uh, a lot more. And as it fuels its future, you go from the nine into the ten of cups. Happiness after difficulty. So it's obviously that the beginning part of this year is a very difficult start to the year. But at the same time, because you've got that learning curve on both karmic messages uh, on your side, it seems like you're going to come out of this in flying colours. Happiness after difficulty. And that difficulty, I think, more than anything else, is just going ahead and doing it, Libra. Just getting out there. You're going to realise uh, with this is, is that you're going to see the reality for what it is. And that reality is all based around them, your sort of um, social aspect, enjoyment of what you do, enjoyment of your job, enjoyment of your business or your projects, engaging with other people in a very joyous way. I think it's going to bring a lot of uh, rewards for you in your life. And yes, it gives you that opportunity to shoot for the stars. An absolute dream come true. I think this is what's happening here. You've got two tens now down there with the ten of uh, pentacles and the ten of cups, uh, which leads into that um, sort of star card there. It's, it's just absolutely brilliant. Uh, you know, really good. And that sort of like ties into... It's as almost as like your material side of life is is taking on slightly more importance than your spiritual side. Because here, that's a number nine. That's a real progression you're making without even realising it on your spiritual path. But it's going to free you up on your material side and it's going to allow for that dream. It seems like a, a long-term dream. Something that you've been dreaming about for a long time is finally coming to fruition, basically, within your life. And it helps you to be helps you to get this by being a lot more sort of open and sociable within your energies, basically. Um, I hope you get the best out of these readings. We're going to do a bit clarifying with the uh, Light Sears cards uh, here, Libra. We will be doing a reading next week on the uh, transition of Pluto from Capricorn through to Aquarius. And I think that's affecting everybody this year. And it's affecting the collective as well. Um, so, yes, uh, it's lovely to have you here. Let's just see what's going on there. <laughs> the Three of Cups with the Sun card. This is for you. This is for you. There is no doubt about it. Um, happiness is going to be the driving force behind your success. Not only on your relationship side, because I think there's... Like every relationship, it wavers at one point. Um, but if you if you allow that happiness to install or ha open the door uh, to happiness and allow it into your life, that's when you're going to get the good results, basically. Uh, it's going to make you very sociable and it's going it to make for a lot of celebrations. With the devil cards, you get the ten of pentacles. The devil is making you look at the or concentrating on the detail making you being a little bit about obsessive about your happiness. It's going to give you a little bit of, um. it's going to give you the driving force behind your happiness here uh, with the 10 of pentacles. It's going to give you the abundance because you know this finer detail. And this abundance could be um, very, very sharp uh, tool for you going forward, knowing about your karmic path, knowing where you should be and what you should be doing in life. And when you do do that, that's when the abundance is going to come into you. Um, and I would be almost obsessive about your happiness. Because uh, once this abundance come in, this is where it's going to help you flip that whole sort of repetitive thing that's not going to come to fruition. 
Yes, it's going to cause you some worry about it happening. But if you concentrate on your happiness, that's when it's going to flow through. With the Knight of Cups, you get the Fool card. Yeah, there is a bit of a leap of faith here. Well, I think we can see that within the overall energies as well. Um, this leap of faith here is... Um, it's, it's like this knight in shining armour is taking you away from your woes and worries. And that's where your leap of faith is, is you're believing in love again. Uh, you know, taking, you know, leaping to the air uh, and allowing love into your life. How are you going to fall? Uh, are you going to fall on your feet? Yes, I do believe you are going to be falling on your feet in a very beautiful way. With the nine of swords... You get the Ten of Wands. I think you tend to shoot yourself in the foot a lot, Leah, um, Libra. So I just, it's, I was going to call you Leo then. It might be Leo that's giving you and making you feel sort of like, um, like, like you're carrying too much. It's very possible. Or maybe this is Leo that's bringing you out of yourself. Um, but here is, I think, is where you're carrying too much. You're creating this. Uh, this woes and worries. And I think you can just let go of it. Let go of that so you can see a brighter future. And it will help you convert that nine of swords into, which just jumped out again, the nine of swords. It can help you convert those nine of swords into that nine of cups, basically. So you can realise all those possibilities within your life. And with that nine of cups, yes, you get the queen of wands. So this is a very sociable card here. This is um, going from August through to September. Uh, this is your autumn period. This is the realisation from you. This is a way of trying new things, trying out a lot of different things, seeing life in a different way, seeing different sort of passions within your life as well, uh, within your spiritual path, and how you can open that to your heart's desires. And trying out a lot of new things. That's what I feel like that. That is the... Um, that is the way that you need to go forward. And it's that devil in the detail here, which is going to bring you that abundance because you're exploring those nine of cups, all those possibilities. And when you do explore something, really put your passion into it to see whether it's something that really fits with you. And possibly this ties in with that sort of relationship here that's coming through here, this love that's coming into your life or this knight of shining armor. With the page of pentacles, you get the eight of pentacles. Yes, I think you're going to enjoy this. I think you're going to enjoy cultivating this new pathway for you. You're going to enjoy planting these seeds, which is going to give your future, your spiritual, your emotional and your energy future, a very consistent and solid way of being, basically, um, which gives you that sort of really good foundations to build on and and create for the future. It is there only because you're willing to put in the work, basically, Libra. And once you do put in the work, there's no better than you, basically, as you go forward. Let's just see what's going on on your material side, shall we? So on your karmic path, you have that five of cups. It's getting past that disappointment of the past and going on and, the, and, and building to the future. And with the Five of Cups, you get the King of Swords. This is very good for you, actually, Libra. Um, your karmic path here is to know your wisdom that is within. Yes, it may have made created disappointments in the past, but that disappointment didn't kill you. And it has made you a lot smarter. And that's what the overall energy is coming out of this karmic lesson that seems to be something that you seem to be um, acquiring this year. Um, saying goodbye to those old three of cups there. Saying hello to the new three of cups with all of that happiness that is tied into it. And now you've got that wisdom and that judgment um, and, and that leadership role in order to live your life fully. But it's just a case of getting on and going and doing. And in the first three months, it's a little bit difficult for you to get into your stride by the looks of things. Ah, the lover's card. Yes, maybe it's just being patient and waiting for the right wave of reality that's coming your way, the right opportunity. But I think this opportunity is there. 
You've just got to feel it. And if you feel it, and the moment you feel it, and I think you're going to feel it some point during this first three months here, and I would have thought it's going to be mainly in uh, February, the opportunities are going to be sort of coming your way. Uh, this is going to help you to fall in love with what you do or the opportunity that's being presented to you. Uh, and I think this opportunity has been there for some time. Uh, it's been on your plate for a long time and now it's finally coming to fruition. And you're falling in love with your higher self, I think, more than anything else uh, as you go through. With the um, Ten of Pentacles, you get the Page of Swords. So we've now got two pages out here. I just seen if there was a third one. No, you've got two pages out here. It's a real learning curve for you at this moment here. And it's learning about these abundances that you have that's as you go from um, April through to June. This is your summer period. And this is where you can allow those ideas of what you want for the future. And this is where you're going to build in this happiness after difficulty, this ultimate happiness and this ultimate dream come true uh, by the end of the year. Um comes out of these ideas that you are now bringing into your life because you're starting to realise that, oh, I can do that. And if I can do that, then that means I've got all of that possibilities that are coming my way. So it looks really good for you. Um, let's just see what's going on with the Ten of Cups. What's happens with the Ten of Cups? Yeah, happiness after difficulty. This is seeing the reality for what it is. This is an absolutely beautiful card uh, for this. This is the steps you need to take in order to get to that star card. And this is your autumn period. This is going from um, July through to September. So uh, in the autumn period, this is your autumn period. This has got nothing to do with northern and southern hemisphere and the seasons of the earth in a way. This is the seasons of the astro flower. And in your autumn period, this is where you're working out and seeing the reality for what it is. And therefore, you know the steps you need to take in order to get to that star. And that star is in that last three months, but going between October and December. That star card comes out because you take those basic, simple steps that need to be taken, but you now know how to take them. And that's where your wisdom comes into play. And then you get the seven of pentacles. This star, this, this is something that you just do not want to get rid of or you do not want to let go of basically um by the end of the year i think you've firmly got your teeth into your dreams and your and your ambitions in life uh, and now you're going to nurture it into existence and you're going to have fun doing it i think more than anything else an absolute beautiful outcome for a, a, a fantastic evolutionary sort of progressional path that you've got going on both on your financial or your material side of life but also on your spiritual side of life uh, as i say we'll be going to be doing the pluto readings next week and see how that you can get the most out of this big change that's happening um we also are going to be looking to do a live the moment my nose clears up uh which will hopefully be this week and um yes I will see you soon. In the meantime, thank you very much for all the support you give to this channel. Uh, and don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.